Good morning, Mass Bomb staff and students. You already know that this is Mr. Lon, and these are your C Day Tuesday morning announcements. Hello, how is everyone today? Students, reminder that prayer for Ramadan is available for the remainder of this week at 107 in room 226. Students, seniors, and juniors, the senior junior class trip will take place on Friday, April the 28th. The cost of the trip is $25. Payments are due by April the 20th. If you are interested in attending this day trip, guess what? See Nurse Chris, Miss Bacon, and or Mr. Trainer. Upcoming events, we have the Nocti this week, students, seniors. But pay attention, everybody, because it's a very important assessment at Mass Bomb. We have the 20th, which is the Nocti Block Party. Friday the 21st is no school because of Eid. And Friday, May the 5th, is Mass Bomb Culture Fest. And students, you know that our number one priority as educators of Mass Bomb always is to keep you safe and healthy so that you can learn. That means reach out to a staff member that you trust if you have concerns or problems because we are here to support you. All right, this is from the Kensington Voice, okay, which is our local community newspaper. Uh, actually, as I'm looking at this, the Kensington Voice sent this to me. I'll have to make sure that I include the address in tomorrow's announcements. This is for youth in grades 6 to 12, Mondays through Thursdays, 3.30 to 6 p.m. Our program provides activities centered around creative expression. This includes creative writing, journalism, poetry, spoken word, and visual storytelling. Okay. I'll have more information. There is a barcode right there. Okay, teachers, if you could actually post this in your Google Classrooms, that would be great too. This is a great community connection, students, that you can make if you are interested in spending time at the Kensington Voice, engaging in these activities that are aligned to journalistic enterprise. Speaking of journalistic enterprise, Students, you already know about the Bomb Spring 2023 edition. If you would like your own copy to keep, see your teachers of the front office. Okay, there are math puzzles, and uh, they are on page 23. And if you come to Mr. Thomas or Miss Linscombe with the question, uh, the correct answer for any of the questions with the shun work, guess what? You're going to get a free Panther Punch. Yes, you are. The Nocti is this week. Students, I was so impressed and so proud of everybody for the amazing start that we had to the Nocti exam. We had tremendous, tremendous attendance yesterday. I know we're going to continue it through to day two of the Nocti, which is today. The test will begin, okay, at 8 a.m. today. Okay. Tomorrow, students, is the Nocti performance. Today, of course, is part two of the written exam. Tomorrow is the performance exam. And Thursday is the block party. Okay. And taking the Nocti and producing maximum effort on it is a requirement for graduation in the state of Pennsylvania. The 90% attendance initiative for the month of April. And guess what? We are more than halfway through April. It felt like just yesterday we were going into spring break, and now we are more than halfway through April. How about that? How do you like those apples? I like them, since you ask. Anyway, if you have no more than one absence for the month of April, you will be invited to a popsicle party on May 2nd during your lunch period. All right. The Culture Fest door decorating contest, reminder about that. And reminder about the bar for the door decoration. Oh, you know what I did? Oh, shoot. I am so sorry that I forgot about this. I have to. That's something that I forgot. We have to square up on our clubs for today. Hold on a second. Little detour here. What are our clubs today? There's one. There's another one. There's another one. Here we go. Moving them on up. See how fancy it is what I do every morning on the morning announcements. So fancy. I think I'm good here. 
All right. Yes, we are. All right. So in the way of clubs that are meeting today, we have the Drama Club meeting in Miss Linscombe's room, room 617, Tuesdays after school. We have the Fiber Arts Club with Miss Benedetto and Miss Yakey in room <coughs> 602. We have the Gay Straight Alliance with Mr. King in room 605. And of course, daily, we have the Rubik's Cube Club with Miss Walker from 7 to 7.30 a.m. Reminder about COOTH, the mental health and confidential well-being support service, bracelet sales, Chromebook repairs. Chromebook repairs, I'm going to plug this one just a little bit right now because you need your Chromebook students each and every day. Seniors, you need your Chromebooks each and every day, and particularly, particularly, sometimes that can be a tough word to say. Am I the only one in, in that assessment? Particularly, I just eliminate syllables to say it the right way. Anyway, enough with the ridiculous detour, Mr. Lon. Chromebook repairs. Social media. The staff and student shout outs. I would like to shout out our newest entries into the Culture Fest door decoration competition. We have. We are building critical mass, as they say. Mr. Zwalak and his crew in room 401 with Guinea. Mr. Marks and his crew, his sports marketing and CCR crew in 604, Haiti and Miss Linscombe and Miss Sabatini and with their English 3 and drama crew with Puerto Rico. All right. Some great entries. We are really rounding out the list. Can't wait to see what it looks like. Traversing through the hallways of Mass Bomb High School. National Days. Today is shout out to our electrical shop because this is quite possibly a career that any electrical student can endeavor to. It is National Lineman Appreciation Day. Very important job. Um, very well paying job, as it turns out. Okay. We've had guest speakers, guest uh, linemen uh, come in to talk to our students, and they get paid very well. Also, it is National Animal Cracker Day. And you know what? If I'm going to make the choice to have some animal crackers, I put some thought into this. Oh, you already know that I'm going with the Nabisco brand. It comes in the circus box. It has a handle on it. It advertises that it's a good source of calcium. Now, I don't know if that's actually true, but I'm going to say that's not a bad thing, right? That's not a bad thing. Happy. National Animal Cracker Day. Unless, of course, it's not true, then it's a bad thing. Anyway, continuing. Mr. Lon, closing out with their school vision today. Less detours. Next morning announcements. We're Mass Mom. We build the future. Have a great Tuesday.